Hey guys, good afternoon. Nice day out. Nice and sunny, got my sunglasses on. Okay, right behind me here is my service call. My service call was, we have a water leak downstairs. Okay, this is a packaged rooftop unit. What typically leaks, one is a roof. If it's a flat top roof, they're notorious for leaking, especially around the curbs. So that's one, it could be. Two, drain pan overflow. If that drain pan is clogged up, it'll overflow, leaking down the ductwork going downstairs. Three, your evaporator coil could be froze up from either a broken or loose belt, plugged filters, metering device not working right, low on charge, freezing up, dirty coil. Okay, so we could have a number of things. Well, so let me give you a little insight here what's going on. It's a packaged unit, which means we have heating and cooling combined as one. The only thing downstairs is a thermostat. As you can see, there is water on the roof here. It's from me walking around too. Okay, other side of the unit, we got a powered exhaust because of pressure reasons to relieve pressure in the building. All right, so we got water on the roof, obviously, and it's a rather flat roof. Okay. There's a seam here, okay? We could be leaking from there, okay? Could be, all right? Went downstairs, it's leaking from inside the ductwork. I traced it, it's not coming from the roof at this time. Our filters, clean, we're looking good, okay? Coil uh, does need a good cleaning, not too concerned about that. Belt, relatively um, snug, pulleys were not warm, so it was not slipping. Now, our drain pan. Grab my screwdriver out here. As you can see, very rusty, okay? And it's just, it's flaking apart. You gotta be careful. See how it's flaking apart? Now, as you can see, it is metal, breaks apart, all right? That's why I like stainless pans. I like uh, plastic pans for this reason. Now, the unit dates back from 2000. So it's currently 21 years old. The average piece of equipment for commercial equipment, up here in the north at least, if it's properly taken care of, if you get 20 years out of it, that's good, okay? So we're at that point where it can be changed, okay? If you're having problems, it's not worth the labor and time involved to fix it. Well, that's why I was taking a look at the heat exchanger, just, uh, you know, just seeing if anything else was going on um, other than this. Well, in order to train, change this drain pan, and they do make it, Okay, you gotta take out all these screws going down here, all the way back in there, which, how? How are you gonna do that besides maybe taking the roof off of it, leaning down upside down, inverted, and get in there with your drill somehow between the blowers and unscrew it if they come out, if they do. Then you got them on the other side, but that's on the opposite side. As you can see, you got the tips, okay? They go out down there, so you gotta take them out in here, which, how? Okay, so that's not really uh, gonna be able to be done efficiently. So my next option is, can we seal it with something? Well, what I would recommend at this point, just for temporary use, just to stop it from leaking downstairs. Okay, vacuum this out, shut off my cooling, allow the fan to run only to dry this up. Okay, you can vacuum it out, scrape it up gently and wire brush it. But from New Calgon, I've used this product before pan spray okay it's a rubberized undercoat okay complete waterproof seal okay they make it in black they make it in white okay this is this one's uh, white so I call the manufacturer because it does not say on the can how long does it take to cure they said 30 minutes before it's tacky but they would give it an hour before it can you know take water droplets from condensation okay so I'm gonna send in a quote one, replace the unit. Two, replace the drain pan, which I, I hope doesn't happen. Uh, and three, temporarily, uh, let's clean it up. Let's use the pan spray. Let's try it out. Um, and uh, we'll see you what the customer wants to do here. Um, and if I have to use this pan spray, I'll show you what I'm going to do here. So, but let me find out from the customer first. Okay, guys, make sure we are locked out and tagged out. Next step. Let's vacuum out this water and start scraping away.
Okay, guys, as you can see, it's in very bad shape, okay? It's pitting real bad, so, and it is soft metal. I don't know if you can see it flexing at all, but it's, it's definitely flexing, so. Not in the best of shape, but I'm gonna scrape it out a little bit more, run the fan only to dry this sucker out. power to the stat we got stage one cooling stage two cooling stage one heat stage two heat fan okay so I'm going to shut down just the cooling side so disconnect both of these that make sure you have no power at your unit these are 24 volts so it's low voltage and I'm gonna put a put little strip of tape around these just so they don't bump anything but this will allow my fan motor to run only to dry out the drain pan but that drain pan is almost red, ready for coating. It's drying itself out as we speak, even though I do not have the air blowing across it. Okay guys, I am back on that unit and I had taken the roof off just to vacuum out a little bit better after it all dried up down in here okay so that is your entire drain pan inside of this unit down here and over here to the condensate leaving okay so i'd like to hit this as good as i can so pull the roof off and revacuum so okay guys i'm gonna grab that product and i'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna spray it all through here So again, I popped the roof off. So Ruthroff took the roof off of the unit at this time. So your blower assembly, okay. Drain pan further down, EVAP coil is on a slant like so, and the airflow goes this way. So condensate, evaporation goes out, comes down, slides along those channels, okay, on those fins, goes down, drips into your pan, and then goes out through your drain and out of the unit onto the roof. So. We're done shaking up our spray, and we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. We're going to leave this roof off for a little bit, let that air out. That does have some potent smell to it. Uh, it would not hurt to uh, remove your sensors as well. That's a uh, high temp limit for the heat exchanger. So I'm gonna continue spraying. Okay guys, the product is completely cured at this time.
Okay, so we are down throughout the whole drain pan. I left the roof off here to get some, uh, let that smell go away. It's got the odor of, basically it smells kind of like paint, like fresh paint, so not horrible. So anyways, so down here, let me take my, my bare skin. We are dry, okay? It's actually pretty solid, so we're all good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on these panels and uh, keep our fingers crossed that it actually works. So I'll keep you guys posted. Have a good day. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Okay, guys, we are back. It's been roughly one month. Here is the uh, results from the new Calgon pan sealant treatment, okay? So if you guys remember a month ago, I had the roof off this unit. I vacuumed out the entire drain pan, wire brush, scraped away a little bit of that heavy rust. We had leaks going downstairs in through the unit, down in through the ductwork and down into my customer space. I went ahead and sprayed it real well with that treatment. Um, it's worked. It completely worked. There's no leaks downstairs. So job well done. It actually worked, everybody. So just giving feedback. Now you'll see little rust particles in here. I'm assuming it's from like evap coil, rust particles, just stuff from vibration falling down into the pan. I mean, it's white, it's gonna show. Um, that's the one problem with white. Um, I don't see it like rusting up here, um, like flaking off. So it looks like it's sealed rather well. And uh, well, there's water all over the roof. Somebody disconnected this. I don't like that. I like it dumping out away from the area where it's all mushed down. And no, those are not my cigarettes. I do not smoke. Never smoke, never chew. So somebody's leaving their trash up here. But okay, there you go, guys. Uh, proof, it worked, worked in my situation. Anytime I've ever painted something or applied any type of epoxy sealer, it's all about prep. You gotta prep things. You have to wire brush, you gotta clean with alcohol, uh, sweep up, uh, scrape it out. Whatever that booklet, uh, the um, instructions manual tells you to do, do it, that's all. And at low extra time, apparently goes a long way. So this customer apparently will be going with a new unit. It's gonna take a little while to get the new one in. So as for now, it is doing its job. So if you like what you see, please, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate everything you guys do and views and compliments. Thank you. I will be shooting more. So if you're wondering why I don't post stuff daily, it's because I don't have enough time. I don't. I was out the other night till 11, uh, 15 at night and then up again at 630 in the morning. So life of a service tech, it's just how it is. Um, you get swamped sometimes and other times it's like sit back, do maintenance. So. And I gotta take care of this unit. We have a coil that's freezing up and I found a circuit that's short cycling. So I gotta look at that too. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you for watching HVAC Explained.